Hi, my name is Megan and I've been in property management for about six years. I had always grown up in the property management space. My dad owns the company since, you know, I was born. And uh, when I started with the company, they had completely restructured everything. Um, so I was kind of working in it almost by myself. We had a bookkeeper, me as the property manager, um, my dad, who's the broker, but wasn't actually working in the company at the time. I went from like having no experience with property management to um, running the management company by myself minus bookkeeping. Um, so while we had a leasing agent, one of the hardest things about being uh, on such a small, small team was with very little experience too, man, <laughs> uh, was that my phone was constantly blowing up. So as I was trying to learn and figure out you know, where everyone left everything off and learn how to be a property manager and all that, I just was getting call after call after call. And if anyone's ever that's watching this has ever been through like any restructuring of the business that you're already trying to pick up where whoever else left off and your phone ringing, just constant interruptions, it was so difficult. So shortly after I started, we hired on the call center. So the call center was awesome. Um, and I had that at first, which really helped with the volume of calls and the interruptions. And I would end up just getting like uh, messages in my email to tell me what calls I needed to get back to and what happened on those calls. And while that was really awesome, what I was missing was someone to actually help me with processes and to help me carry the ball completely down the field when a call came in. So around six months after I started, which felt like the longest six months of my life, <laughs> uh, Stephanie, our first virtual assistant, came in. So when our first virtual assistant, Steph, came in, I was ex excited for the help, but kind of overwhelmed with the idea that, first off, to be honest, I was really young when I started this job. I didn't have any experience leading or training anyone. And I was so overwhelmed that I was afraid I wouldn't be able to train her. Um, and I just was nervous about the whole thing. I was still new at a lot of the stuff that I was doing. And I just had her work with me and I shared my screen. And I started by uh, sharing everything like that was cyclical, just process driven, that you, you didn't really have to talk to anyone to do, but you just had to take care of on the computer. So uh, she watched me do those things a few times and I quickly learned that Steph was more than qualified and caught on really quickly, which was a, just amazing. <laughs> um, so she started making processes for everything I taught her and we started a process file. We kind of came in together as like a team. So it started, with processes. Once she got those nailed down, I didn't have to worry about, you know, getting that stuff done. She had it on her calendar every month and I quickly learned I could trust her to get those things done, which took some time. And I started having her listen to every tenant call that I took. Um, and so I'd have it on speaker. She would listen to how I handled certain situations where I had to kind of be firm. Um, and then I started listening to her take tenant calls and started giving her feedback on how she handled it. Um, and so now, long story short, short um, she is our property management assistant. She takes tenant calls and she takes owner calls too. Um, she escalates any anything beyond, you know, just information sharing when it comes to owners. But with tenants, she takes all of the calls, whether they're irate, whether they're um, just asking a simple question, she can handle it. Now she's been with us for over five years and is confident in her role and she is pretty much other than the boots on the ground because she can't be a property manager. Um, so she has allowed us to grow without having to hire, you know, a local person, which is really, really nice. And Steph, our original virtual assistant, is has com almost completely trained our new one. Um, so the process of training our first VA, I wish I could tell you exactly how many hours it took, but really all it was was her shadowing me, always having my, you know, uh, Google Hangouts on with her. I took a little bit of explanation of what I was doing and it was stuff that I would have already had to do but I was simultaneously training someone to take my place doing it and we created such solid processes and training from that initial training that I did with her that since we've hired the new VAs I don't even know them that well unfortunately because our old VA was able to teach them everything that they know so it was definitely worth my time. My advice is I guess just do it if you're scared to do it it has a lot do probably with your fear um, that you won't be able to keep them busy enough but with the right VA um, and somebody that takes the initiative it's gonna make your life so much easier for me I have a three-year-old 
that's almost four and I can't even tell you how much time I've gotten back from having the VAs and the change that it made to my life and the ease in which I'm able to enjoy my son, our vacations, our time after school because I don't have to worry that I'm missing anything and I have backup and support. And honestly, I wouldn't be interested in this field without one at this point when I know what's the difference. Thank you.